What's up, good people? It's your boy, Leroy McKenzie. Really quickly, I'm going to invite some folks real quick. And I'm going to get on here and get off of here. I'm going to talk for a minute. I wanted to bring you all just some, uh, this weekly, you know, my weekly uh, information that I'm focusing on um, for everybody. Just kind of some things I wanted to bring to people uh, in this week. Um, I've started off uh, thinking about what I wanted to focus on this week, and, and actually it has to do with my boss life. Uh, my boss life, uh, and boss stands for build, 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 organize, shift, and sacrifice. That's build, organize, shift, and sacrifice. Uh, that's what boss life is. If you're going to be a boss, you have to build, you have to organize, you have to shift. And you also have to be willing to sacrifice. Those are the things that come along with being <laughs> being the boss, <laughs> so to speak. So I am uh, just inviting a couple of people here really quickly for y'all. And then I'm going to get into um, the aspect that I wanted to focus on this week, which is boss. I mean, build. I'm sorry, which is a build. How do you build? What? Do, how do you build? What are you building? And and what are those three things that I'm going to give you today that you need to focus on in order to be able to build an image? Uh, and this actually came to me after watching uh, the documentary, the Last Dance documentary that um, that everybody's talking about or that we've seen the last several weeks uh, on um, ESPN, um, Michael Jordan and the the that eighty it was a ninety seven ninety eight uh, Bulls team. And the um, what that the whole organization, Michael Jordan and all of them kind of, of um, went and dealt with. So uh, I, and I started looking at it and I was looking at it from the perspective of of what is it that we um, what what is it that they did? How did they build? What was it that they built? They built this, or they had this organization. They built this team. They were about building, um, but even within that, uh, even within the um, that that Bulls organization, I wanted to zoom in on uh, Michael Jordan specifically because this the whole documentary kind of takes us from Michael Jordan from from college when he entered college into. Um, when he went to North Carolina and then entering into the NBA and then all the way kind of up and through his career to that 90 to that 97, 98 season, which was his last season as a bull. Um, but I started to think about how did, how did he build the image that we've come to know as Michael Ayer, Air Jordan, <laughs> which is what he's known for. So he he went from this this young uh, country boy, um, you know, uh, down in in North Carolina, growing up in North Carolina, to this iconic figure that that folks see and um, and relish at today. How do you build that kind of image? And that's what, because this week I want everybody to focus on building. What are you building? How are you building you? How are you building your business? How are you building your relationships? What are you doing uh, to build uh, those different aspects of your life? And and the three things that I came up with um, that I, when I thought about, when I thought about what he did in order to be able to build his image, and, and I thought it took, it takes three things. So I'm going to give you all these three things and then I'm going to be done. Um, but it's the three keys to building an image, building your image, uh, building your business your, and your image. I mean, building your business, building your, your brand, building your personal life, all of those things. It takes three things, it takes a message, it takes a model and it takes a, uh, a, a marketing. So I'm gonna say that again. It takes a message. It takes a model and it takes marketing. That's what he did with himself. Um, when he came out of actually coming out of, of, uh, coming out of college, coming out of North Carolina and how do you build that image? And, and it was fascinating to see, uh, when they talked about him, um, going to the meeting with Nike, he didn't even want to go 
to the meeting with my with with Nike. His mama made him go to the meeting with to meet with my Nike. And Nike was a pretty uh, a pr- a pretty much a startup at that time too. So they were trying to build their image. So here you have this young young guy coming out of coming out of college. He was a rookie of the um, rookie of the year um, coming out of college. His first year uh, at in, in Chicago. Um, and he was approached by or was an agent, however that transaction happened, um, and they came together to put a deal together for him to um, go and and have be one of the sponsors, be a part of the Nike brand, building the Nike brand. And what they talked about, the first thing they talked about was the message. What message was it that they were trying to portray when it came to uh, Michael Jordan? So that's the first thing that I'll tell you is what's the message that you want to that you want to send, whether it's you individually uh, as a as you you the person, um, if you're a speaker or, um, you know, if you're a speaker or author or anything like that or or an entrepreneur, what's the message that you specifically want to portray? What's that message? That, that you want to think, and I, and I do it like this, I tell people, what are the three foundational things that when you think of, when you want, when people think of you, what do you want them to think of when they think about you? What are those three things? What are those three things that you want people to say about you, think about you, um, to convey about you? And, and I believe that that's what Nike did when it came to, 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 um, to Michael Jordan. They they wanted to hone in on who was Michael Jordan and then how could they make him this 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 figure um, to go along with what they were trying to build with him um, with the, the 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 Air Jordans which which is what was the first shoe that came out for him the Air Jordans so the first part of that piece the first part of that puzzle is um, is your message. So they developed the message, which was not just that it was Air, that was Michael Air Jordan, but it was this guy that that personified, uh, defined <laughs> what um, walking through air was about. He could walk on air because when you watched him, it looked like he was gliding um, through the air. He did it so gracefully and everything like that. So they found this message to kind of go along with what his personality, they were trying to develop this personality of who he was at the time too. So that was the messaging behind the Air Jordan um, brand. So that was the first thing that, uh, that they did. And even Michael Jordan himself, I think took, he took on that persona because if you, the different things that you see him a part of and that he did everything was about him even playing basketball the tongue wagging and and the you know just the gracefulness that he played with he made things look simple on the basketball court for those of us that are basketball fans it was something that we that we just enjoyed we enjoyed seeing how easy he made basketball uh seem that uh even the even the the um the commercial be like mike won't you don't you want to be like Mike they they wanted the message that everyone wanted to be like Michael Jordan they they would run young guys would run outside after they watched a a Bulls game and try to do some of Michael Jordan's moves that was the messaging behind it so that was the first key so the second key is uh is model what was the mod what's the model that you want that you can take from you know, whether it's someone that you have in your space that can that you can model after, someone that you can kind of look up to, someone that can guide you through what it is that you're trying to get to and get uh, get through and get to. Um, Michael Michael Jordan had uh, didn't have. Uh, if you think about it, I think before him, I can only think of maybe one or two guys in the league that will probably had that kind of grace that he had, and that was George Iceman Gervin. He was probably the the smoothest guy that I can think of. Or, or my favorite is is Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, um, you know, the way he handled the basketball as a point guard coming down the court and doing all the things that he did. Those are some models, and then even. Who are you modeling? So he wanted to, I think they were careful, try to, to have him be this, this model of, of what, 
Um, you can aspire to be what you can aspire to do, not just from a an athletic perspective, but then even later on from a um, from a business perspective. So uh, having having some an imagery of what you can be, what you can achieve, you have to have that in your mind. And he, Michael Jordan, had that uh, within himself because he he told his one of the assistant coaches at. Uh, North Carolina, that he wanted to be the greatest basketball player of all times. And he, um, when the coach told him or asked him about, um, you know, practicing that he had done, you know, I think not even practice, but he had done, you know, he had worked just like everybody else uh, and everything. And, And the assistant coach said to him, well, I thought you said you wanted to be the greatest basketball player of all times. <laughs> and his, 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 him, what he told Michael was, if you want to be the greatest basketball player of all times, you've got to work harder than you've got to work harder than everybody. You've got to do those things that everybody else is not willing to do. I'm going to say that again for you. If you want to be, if you're going to be the greatest at anything, you're going to have to work harder than anyone else. You're going to have to um, outwork everyone. You're going to have to uh, outthink everyone. You're going to have to um, outmaneuver everyone. You have to have such a, a mentality uh, within yourself that tells you that when you know that everybody else stops, you keep going. Um, so you have to have something to, to model. And Michael Jordan's model was, was basically, I want to be the greatest basketball player of all time. So he took that mindset, not only from, uh, from at North Carolina, but he took it into, um, going into the NBA and being the NBA player, and he knew he was going to have to outwork everybody. He knew he was going to have to outthink everybody. He was going to have to stay longer than everybody. He was going to have to sacrifice. That's what comes along with building an image. If you build the, the image that you build, what's the image that you want to build? If, if you say you want to be the greatest at something, then building uh, that image means you're going to have to think about yourself, you're going to have to think about where it is that you're trying to go and understand that it's going to take such a level of, uh, of, 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 um, such a level of relentlessness. It's going to take us such a level of, of thinking mindset, because there are going to be days when you don't want to do what you want to do. There are going to be days where you have to sacrifice doing some of the things that you may want to do. Um, but that becomes part of that model and that imagery that you that you want to have. So that's number two. Number three and the last one, and I'm gonna let you go. The last one, like I said, is marketing, 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 marketing. This is for my entrepreneurs. This is for my uh, aspiring entrepreneurs. This is my speakers. All of those um, th- those individuals that are looking to um, have a business of some sort, whatever that business is, whether it's a speaking business, whether it's just speaking in general, whether it's, um, uh, having a brick and mortar business, whether it's an online business, whether it's a out of your house business, whatever that business is, you have to have a marketing strategy, a marketing plan. And that's what, that's what they did when they sat down with Michael from all of his endorsements from uh, from Nike all the way up to any of the other ones. They had to put together a marketing strategy uh, that was going to be emblematic of of who he was. That was going to have to be a a, um, a a strategy that was put together that was going to be able to. Um, reach a reach a certain audience they knew that they had to put together something that was going to be able to be in on different venues who was going how they, were they going to be able to maximize Michael Jordan's exposure and him being playing for the Chicago Bulls and before he got there trust me the Chicago Bulls were not on TV trust me the Chicago Bulls were not one of the um one of the best teams in the NBA 
they will fall from it. That's how they got him <laughs> because they weren't, they were one of the, the worst teams in the NBA. You don't get the number three draft pick, which is what he was by being one of the best teams in the NBA. So they, they were going to have to, as a organization, they were going to have to figure out how to maximize that exposure. Him personally with him and his, uh, and his, uh, management team, they were going to have to figure out how they were going to maximize, uh, his exposure to be able to put this, this certain image out of him, um, and and to be able to garner what they were trying to do, which was to put this package together, which was Michael Jordan. Um, but who was Michael Jordan? Who was Michael Jordan? Was it the tennis shoes? Was it the 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 athleticism? Was it the um, the gracefulness that he that he had on the basketball court? Was it the rookie of the year? The, all of the accolades. <clears throat> that he um uh, that he had accomplished already and that he was going to accomplish all of that had to be packaged um in such a way that that they would be able to um put him into places where people could see him because for those that are entrepreneurs you know that um one of the key things in order for you to be able to uh increase your bottom line in order to be able to to um to, to sell your products and your or services is you have to as more from a marketing perspective you have to maximize your exposure you have to be in as many places and on as many venues uh, as possible because it's a numbers game sales and marketing is a numbers game it's how many people can you get access to at one particular time in order to be able to Show people the products and services that you offer. <laughs> I, I'm, th what I'm on right now is a prime example of that. That's the Facebook Live. That's the Instagram Lives that you see people on. That's the YouTube channels that we use. We can use these tools in order to be able to maximize uh, our exposure. Because this right here, this Facebook Live that I'm doing has the potential and will reach people as far as Africa, can reach people as far as Australia, all of those things. It puts you in the realm of being able to um, reach thousands upon millions of people just by the clicking of a clicking of a button. So just to recap for you, these are three keys that I wanted to give you today in order to be able to build that because that's what we're doing this week. We're building. What are you building? How are you building? How are you building you? How are you building your business? How are you building your your um, your brand? And then even if you want to take it on a personal side, you can take the personal aspect of it, too. How are you building you? And that those three keys are you have to you build your image by your message, you build your image by your model that you have, and then you build your your image by your um uh you build your image by by your marketing. So those are the three things your message, your model, and <clears throat> your message, model, and marketing. Those are three ways that you build your image. You build your message. You want to build out your message. What message is it that you want to send to people? Two is your model. What model is it that you want to either you can find a model that you can model after someone that you can have a men, um, a mentee, mm -hmm. a mentor. I'm sorry, I have a mentor and a mentee, but you, that you can find that can be a men, someone that can be a mentor to you that you can model after that you can see to be able to give you that structure and how to be able to to get to where it is that you want to see. Uh, and then the last thing is marketing. What marketing uh, strategy, what marketing plan uh, do you have in place or will you, do you need to put in place in order to be able to build that image that you're looking for? So that's, that's your assignment for this week is to, you're going to build your image, but you build your, you got to build your message, you got to build the model, and then you got to build your marketing. Those are definitely the ways in order for you mm -hmm. to be able to get to where it is that you're trying to be, the image that you're trying to get to so that you can see. And I, I happened to use the the last dance, the the Michael Jordan and, and uh, Bulls organization as an example, just to give you an idea of building that image, the Michael Jordan uh, image. He's gone from Michael, from Mike Jordan to Michael Jordan to Air Jordan to now the Jordan brand. I'm going to say that again. Think about it. And And I'm not the biggest Michael Jordan fan, but he went from 
Mike Jordan. That's Mike Jordan that hit the hit the hit the eighty two uh, shot against Georgetown to win the championship. To uh, Michael Jordan, the Rookie of the Year for the Bulls, and then and is now Brand Jordan, who was the owner of, or I should say majority owner, I'll put it that way, the majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA. So that's how you can, that's how you want to think about building your image, uh, build you, your business, your brand, build your image this week. Y'all know what it is. It's 20, 2020, fast and furious, move with pers- with passion and purpose. And as I always say, Chase the impact, because when you chase the impact, you change the world. Let's go change the world. Talk to you soon.